Hello friends, welcome to Gadget Kada. Today I'm here to review the September update of Mi A1. So without further waste any more time, let's get started. Okay guys, to get started, the September update started rolling out to the Mi A1 devices starting this Wednesday. The update size was 393.9 MP. So I have downloaded and installed the update and if you go to the system you will see that it is now running on security patch September 5, 2018 and if you go to the about phone you will notice that the android version is still 8.1 and the security patch is September 5 and the build number is 9.6.6. .6. So as usual like the previous update there are no noticeable changes with the UI and there are no new features introduced with this update. So this is just a bug fix update with some performance improvements. So they have improved quite a bit of the battery life and some of the network fluctuation issues and network call drops issues has been completely fixed in this update. So regarding the benchmark scores, I have run the Geekbench and now the single core score is 854 and the multi core score is 4208. So we haven't faced any changes since the previous update, the score remains almost the same. I have also ran the onto 2 benchmark and with onto 2 benchmark we get a score around 80,062. And coming to the notification LED light, it works perfectly in this update, there is no issue with that. So coming to the charging test, many of you have asked if Mi A1 supports quick charging. So I have tested out with the Qualcomm certified quick charge 3.0 and unfortunately Mi A1 doesn't support quick charging 2.0 or 3.0. And some of you have asked if Mi A1 support Wildline L1 and the answer is no, it doesn't support Wildline L1 and it, it supports only Wildline L3. I have tested out the fingerprint scanner and it works pretty fine and there is no noticeable delay and it works pretty fine as the previous updates. So moving to the last and the most interesting part the battery life. I see a quite a bit of improvement in the battery life this time and I am getting around like 6 hours, 5 hours 30 minutes to 6 hours of screen, screen on time. So I tried playing PUBG for 1 hour and the battery dropped only to 17% which is I think good compared to the previous updates. Okay guys that's it for the video if you are facing any bugs or issues with this update please let us know in the comment section and we can directly report it to the MIT. So until next time bye bye.